What's going on family? Here are some tips for vinyl wrap. Let's hop right into it. So the first things first, man, you gotta start with a nice, clean, and prepped surface. That's why you saw me tack cloth in it. And then we jump right into some knifeless tape, and you'll see how this works in a minute. The beauty of this is it's knifeless, so you don't run the risk of scratching anything. One of the most important things I feel like with wrap, besides making sure that your piece, your body work, or whatever you're wrapping is prepped right, because if you start with a garbage surface, you know, you got dents in it or whatever, those dents and imperfections will show through the wrap. So aside from making sure your body work is smooth, the next thing I feel like is planning, especially when it comes to a motorcycle. I designed this wrap to use multiple colors so that way I can use multiple pieces of vinyl and I wouldn't have to try to single wrap anything. When you single wrap a piece, you run the risk of it failing later because you might overstress the material and it could just it could wind up not looking as good as it potentially could. So as you saw that knife is taped there, you know, it's just a line of tape that you put down first. There's a string in it, you pop that string and it'll cut the vinyl without the use of a blade. So as I said, you know, I designed this in a way to where I can use multiple colors. This is gonna be the seat portion, so what better choice than black when your seating is gonna be black? One thing you may notice is how ashy my knuckles are. They are in fact this way on purpose. You wanna degrease your hands as well. You know, you wanna remove as much oil from your skin as you can. The oils from your skin can inhibit how well the vinyl adheres to its surface. Wrapping is a skill, but I believe one of the things you have to have most is patience. This is, this is something that takes a lot of time. And if you're not patient with it, it's easy to get frustrated and just not get the work to come out the way you want it to. Now, as I said, you know, look at this plan. You see, the way I designed this, wrapping this part, easy as can be. Just one big rectangle, basically. That's extremely easy to lay as compared to trying to lay everything else that was there. So with this underside of the front part of the fairing, I decided to just go ahead and plasti dip it. I figured it's going to be black. I'd rather not try to wrap this just because some of these these raised pieces look a little weird so i said man i just bust out some some plastic dip it's removable as well so if i don't like the way it looks in the future i'll remove it just as easy as i can remove some wrap what's important though is if you do use plastic dip and you have a tape line you have to remove that tape line when it's wet or else you'll lift more than you intend to so that's what you see here after that final coat i think i did about eight coats really because i know if you don't lay enough layers down then it's extremely hard to remove hopping into this time lapse here you'll see i'm working from the bottom up that's because i want every overlap to be on the bottom we would only be able to see the overlap if you're looking from the bottom of the bike up as this i'm laying this green now the green is sitting on top of the white you would only be able to see that ledge if you're looking from the white up you see the backing on that green wrap is white so if i were to put some of that green on top of black you could then see that white underlining and that seam would stand out since i'm putting black on top of that it really doesn't matter either way you still won't see that raised edge unless you're looking from the bottom up the body work i have here is from armor bodies one of the selling points is that minimum prep work will be needed before painting this holds true for wrapping as well while you're vinyl wrapping you'll lift and reposition the film multiple times so if that primer wasn't bonded well to the bodywork, it'd basically be impossible to wrap this because that primer would lift off the bodywork and stick onto the vinyl and therefore the vinyl can no longer stick to the bodywork. if you're going to wrap anything primered you want to test the sections out first to make sure that your wrap will stick let's hop into another technique so there you can see i laid down some tape first this tape is going to act as protection because I am going to run a blade to do these cuts here. The reason I am is because knifeless tape, you're kind of limited with how sharp of an angle you can get. I wanted some 90 degree angles here and knifeless tape is just very hard to accomplish a clean 90 degree edge with it. So that bottom layer of tape was used to protect the primer. This top layer I'm using as a blade guide so I can, it can help me run straighter lines. give me nice clean beautiful cuts like that but on the bottom where it's not as important or I'm not trying to get that 90 degree angle I just ran some more knife with tape and it works the same after you lay this down you got to pull it out and lay your vinyl back down same thing using tape because I know I'm going to use a blade on top of it right there with that backing paper I was just getting an idea of the size of vinyl I needed of course cleaning a little bit more 
and then get into laying that vinyl down. This green here, this is radioactive green from Avery Dennison. And man, the metallics in this thing pop like something crazy. I actually didn't even want these colors. I wanted something that had a little bit more of a blue hue to it, but you know, with supply and demand right now, you can't get everything you want. So this is plan B. The white is actually plan B too. It's a pearlescent white, a pearl satin white from Avery Dennison. I actually wanted 3M satin ghost flip pearl. That, that stuff has so many different colors in it. And I, I just wanted to go extremely wild with this, uh, with this wrap, but either way, I still, I'm still happy with how it comes out. The tank is one of the most daunting tasks when it comes to uh, wrapping a motorcycle, but it's not hard at all if you utilize body lines and do it in multiple pieces like I'm doing here. This tank would be a nightmare. I would, I agree if I were to try to do this in one piece, but once you break it up like this, oh, it makes it so easy. And I think it looks clean too. This is going to be a track bike and you know, Race bikes, they, they usually have some, some pretty loud and not necessarily loud, but, but some wild graphics that, that are more than just one or two colors. One thing I hope you can notice is that I always wrap well over the knifeless tape. This is because if you don't really get the material laid past that knifeless tape and you have wrinkles or anything, once you cut it, those wrinkles would, would, would stay. So you want that vinyl as flat as you can past the point of your knifeless tape so that way it'll lay smooth there's not too much tension and you won't have any issues and you'll get a cleaner sharper line if it's laying the way it needs to lay anyways this was definitely a no-brainer to use some black here for me because i'm going to use tank grips anyway so why try to wrap more of this white than i need to why try to use a bigger piece than necessary when you can make it easier and take into account all the different elements of your bike I also didn't use any heat until after something was already laid. By that I mean I didn't use any heat to stretch the material because I didn't want to overstretch anything. You need a little bit of strength and some patience. You have to have the patience to figure out what the wrap is trying to tell you where it needs to go. You have to have the patience to, to work it because there's going to be instances where it's like, man, this wrap is too bunched up. I, I might have to rip the whole thing up. But if you're just patient, you know, you just work it, you'll come to find that there's a lot that this wrap can do even before you start to heat it. So I've used uh, three different vinyl wrap brands so far, KPMF, Avery Dennison, and 3M. I do think Avery Dennison is the easiest to work with. The way it moves, the way it stretches, it just it, it's just really much easier than other wraps in my opinion. All right, now hopping into the vinyl decals. The cheapest way to get these done is if you have a neighbor or if you yourself have a Cricut or a Cameo or something to cut the vinyl. That's all I did. I designed them myself or I found the logos and made sure they were vectorized so that they could be used by um, the Cricut software. Had a neighbor run the cuts for me and that's it. Super simple. Peel off, put on, and you're good to go. That's enough of that. I'm sure y'all heard enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and look at how Lucinda came out. Shotty got a wet like Fiji. Got a man to hit me when you need me. Uh. I can get you wetter, baby. Uh. I can get you wetter, baby. Came with a drip like deja vu. Taking nigga bitch, give him deja vu. Shotty got a wet like Fiji. Got a man to hit me when you need me. Uh. I can get you wetter, baby. I can get you wetter, baby. Wet as Aquafina, baby. Yeah. It's cool, I'm trying to stay hydrated. Uh -huh. Off the diving board, I'm a swan dive in it. Throw a haymaker till you shake it, shit. Sure. But you can have my children, I don't give a